What's good, A1 gang? We back with a video right now. As y'all can see here, I jumped into a Tesla contract. I bought a put option. I was betting that it was going to go down and it went the other way on me. Right now, it's going up. We got Tesla at $426, about to hit $427 a share. And I jumped in when it was at $424, betting that it would go down. So... It's definitely turned against me. So right now I'm at I'm at negative 145. My thought behind this was that it reached close to its peak. Normally, once Tesla hit close to its daily peak, it doesn't break it again. So I thought that it would, you know, kind of trick it, go close to it, and then drop back down. But I guess it's pricing in right now a Biden win in the election. So right now the stock market is saying that Joe Biden is gonna win. I don't know. Stock market ain't been wrong in the last 20 years about it. So as y'all can see, we down $155. Now, normally what I would do, if this went down this much, I would cancel this out and basically sell it to close right here. But I've already reached my limit for day trades. I'm already at three day trades for the uh, for the week. So I'll have to wait till tomorrow morning to sell this. So I'm pretty much stuck in this right now. As you can see, I bought this eight minutes ago. So we're just going to hold it for a minute, watch it, see what it do for a little bit. Hopefully it starts to climb back down. It had a new high for the day, over a, over a dollar of the old high. The old high was 45.69, but it, it peaked to 4.26, and this high was 4.27.45. So as you can see right now, it's going back down. We Our loss is only at 115, 110, 105. So you see it's, it's climbing back. So what the market makers probably did was make it shoot up real quick. And now they're bringing it back down. Now this is going to be a tough one because as you see, I bought this nine minutes ago, it says... But every hour it begins to lose money because of the theta, which is the time decay. So now you see we down to $95. We were just down 150. Now it's down 77, 82, 85. So you see it could, it could constantly fluctuate. So 70. So it should be going, it should be going down some more right now. 67, 72, 70, 80, 90, 92. 90, 95. So what I'm hoping right now is the price continues to drop down. So right now the price is at 425.91, 425.94, 426.10. So it's it's going. It doesn't really want to lose its. Uh, it doesn't want to really create a new low right now. So I'm just stuck hanging on. But I'll be stuck hanging on anyway until tomorrow because I don't have any more day trades left. So. As you see now, it's back to 125. So let's say if I had a day trades left, once it hit, once it got down to $70, if I felt like, okay, it ain't going to go my way, I could just close out this contract and just be cool with like a $70 loss versus $122 or $130 or even up to its highest, it was about $150. I'll see it's fluctuating back up $135, but it'll, it'll continue this pattern, I believe, going slightly up then going down slightly up lower than it went you know lower than its last high but then back down again so hopefully i'm really hoping we get a big drop i'm, I'm predicting some type of some type of abnormality after the uh election not saying exact like uh it'll be people protesting the, the results or something like that but i think there will be uncertainty in the market see as you see we back down to 100 bucks here only a hundred dollar loss from 150 back to 102 back down to 100 back up to 102 back down to 100 
So this is pretty much what it does. Right now, let me check some of these. RSI is still kind of high. Volume is dropping lower. Price just closed a little lower than it was. I'm on a one minute chart right now. I'm gonna switch over to the five minute. So on the five minute chart, we definitely still in the uptrend. Five day over the 10, 10 over the 20. So as you can see, I'm at 10,491, up $450 for the day. So y'all can see some of my stocks here. I got 13 shares of Tesla here, 100 of Apple here. What was this one? This one's went crazy today okay so you see I'm down 120 117 122 At the moment, Tesla is still overbought. Volume is dropping. Still on the uptrend. Move to the one minute chart and it looks like the five day is getting close to crossing the 10 day. So I'm looking at my phone right here, reading some of these charts that y'all can't see from this angle. So that's why I got some things that y'all are not able to uh, see. Down to 110. I was really hoping this would be no more than, you know, maybe a five, ten at five or ten dollars at a loss, because I thought I caught it just right before it would drop, but. You know how crazy the market is. It wants to go right up as it's supposed to go down. So I'm going to pause this, come back a little later, show y'all where we at then. Okay, we back here. Y'all see, we were just at, we were just down about a hundred and, I don't know, like $15. Now we're only down $62 in a total of 18 minutes. So normally by this time, it would have been in the, in the green. So it could have been about 60 to $120 of profit right now if it went the direction that I thought it would have. But it's not too bad right now. Not not too big of a loss right now. I'm only down 2.5% what I paid for it normally. I used to didn't have a uh, basically a, a stop loss or a, a percentage at which I was comfortable losing a certain amount of money. Now you see it's down to 37, all the way down to 40 bucks from 150. That's why sometimes you gotta hold on. But I'm usually comfortable going in between five and ten percent maybe a little lower now that i'm becoming more experienced so like maybe between five and seven percent i'm okay with being down before i just decide to cut my losses so down only 42 45 dollars from just a hundred and something so right now i'm hoping it, it, uh i'm hoping there's a, a large sell-off and that will cause the price to go down. And in turn, that will make this number go up.
because I bet that the price of the stock would go down. So you see it's hovering between 42, 45. So I'll leave it about another minute, see if it does anything. So down to 35, 30, 27. So the price is going down right now. So this is a good thing for me. So you remember I was just down 150 some dollars. Now I'm only down 15, 17, 15 bucks. So now it should start going in the direction where I start making some money. So down 17. Should hit about 14 next. 15 to 14. Oh, 10. Let's go. Let's go. 12. 22. Back up 20. So you see the price is going up a little bit more right now. But that's a, a, a lot better than being down 150 something dollars down 25 now as you see it's getting like I said it, it, it crept up a little bit and it's going lower it'll go back up a little bit and it's going lower and lower each time it goes up it, it's going to eventually go lower and lower so that's what I'm help, uh, hoping by the end of the day that this price is about 4 maybe even 391 390 that would be lovely So down 30 bucks, down 27, 15, 12, remember this number here, down only 0.58%. So, so far this was a good guess. Although if I would have bet in the other direction and I would have had day trades left, when y'all seen it say $150, I was down. If I would have bet the other way, I would have been up $150 and I could have canceled out or sold that contract then for $150. So you see I'm only down set, well, went from 17 to 22 to 30, 32, so the price is going back up right now. So 27, so we're going to ride this out, we're going to watch it go up, 32, 35, it'll be 40, 50, 70 maybe even. And then what will happen after this time, because it's a, it's basically a false uh, positive, basically, that it's going up. People will jump in, think that it's going up, and the price will come back down. See, you see, it's, it's going down right now. 25, 22, 30, 27. Let's check out, see where... Okay, so ten thousand five hundred eighteen of four hundred and seventy-three dollars for the day. So down thirty-five here on this one, thirty-two. 37 so I'm guessing what I'll do right now is pause it and come back to y'all once we either underneath the I guess once it hit in a positive or once we get a, I guess lower around like the five six sevens but so far this is a total of 23 minutes having this only down $37 I'll be back Okay, we back. Y'all can see we are only down $2 right now, two minutes later. So we just left off at 23 minutes. Now we're down to zero. So I just, I'm even right now. So back down negative $2. So like I told y'all, it'll go up a little bit, go down, go up, go down, go up, go down. It's going lower and lower each time it goes down. So right now I'm only down $12, but y'all seen it just was broken even. Well, it was just at zero. So now the $15 is, is how far I'm in the hole right now. It shouldn't go any higher than around $25, $30 maybe this time. And this time we should see some profit on the next dip. Okay, so back down 40. I think that's about as, as, as high as it should be going down right now. And now it should move the other way and I should start, see, 35, it should keep, this number should keep going in my favor to where I lose less and less money. See, I was all the way down to zero that I, that I owe and now it's back up to, I owe $40. 
So it can fluctuate quickly. You just got to know when to enter and exit. So you got to have good entry and exit points. See back down to 27. Right now it looks like the uh, the price is coming down, which is a good thing. It's, it's, it's hovering around 4 in, in that 4.23 area. I'm hoping it breaks. If it can break right here where it's set. Let me see what it's in. If it can break about four four twenty three, it's going down. And it looks like it wants to break four twenty three. So you see right here I'm up ten dollars now. So I'm up thirteen dollars, up fifteen dollars now. You see this is a plus sign now. So now I'm in the positive. So up eight dollars, up thirteen, up ten. So remember I was just down hundred and fifty dollars. Now I'm up eight dollars. Five. So just keep paying attention to this number here. I know y'all can't see the other screens I'm looking at, but I'm working on getting that set up for y'all so y'all can have a full view like I got. So now we back down to zero at three dollars. Zero. So if I was to get out right there at zero, I would have lost no money. If I get out right here, it's no loss to me. So if I get out here, it was just three bucks. Here, negative five dollars I would lose. I would lose only two dollars here. So you see, you can get out where you want to get out. You know, if you're comfortable holding it and just wait until, you know, it moves in a direction that you believe it will, you just hold it. If not, then you sell it and get out of it. But make sure you got day trades left. So I would basically just simply let this ride all day. I don't have to do anything else to it. You know, hopefully it, uh, it goes in my favor because I got to hold it overnight. So that could be a scary thing, holding it overnight, because you could wake up and it could be, you know, up $100 or it could be down $100, depending on the way that you bet, you know, is whether you lose money or not. So you see we down $25. We were just up at one point, I believe, about 13 at the highest, negative 30. This time, I don't think it should go under. Well, that's another thing we got to start taking into account, too. My, theta, my time decay will start kicking in pretty soon. I, th I believe at the first hour, every hour, I believe time decay. I'm not sure if it eats away every minute on the second or if it just every hour loses a certain amount of uh, value so you see here we back to zero back up three dollars back up five I could cash out thirteen dollars I can cash out right there and I'll make thirteen dollars eight dollars so it's fighting it, it, it just broke 422 it should be going down it's still going down we're losing volume strength index is going down so that's a good sign for me. You just gotta be patient and, and just know that um, right now the stock market is really irrational. It's volatile also, but not as volatile as it was a couple months ago. So just play off that irrationality and, you know, make your best decision. So here we down only $2. Should see some profit here in a second. Probably about three, four bucks. Oh, it's going up. But it'll go back down. You notice every time, you know, this number loses more money for me, it, it becomes less and less each time it gets a new high. So before it was reaching 150, then it started reaching 70, then about 50, 40, then 30. And now let's see if it can, if it can go back over that 40 mark it was at last. 
I don't think it'll go back over like 30, 35 ish. Until this starts to kick in, until my time decay starts to kick in, then it'll start eating away at it. Let me see, I didn't even look at my Greeks. I just knew this was going down. So, theta, so I lose $56 over the day holding this. So I'm hoping this drops a lot. So I'm up $3 here, as you can see, $8, $13, dollars $18, okay. So it's going my way now. So if you wanted to just make, see, now I said 20 If you just want to make $20 for the day, you can just, you know, go here to sell the clothes and you'll make $20 for the day. It's that simple. So you see, I held it through me being down $150 all the way to where now I'm up $20 if I decided to sell it right here. But I believe it'll go even higher as Tesla share price uh, declines. So 15, eight. So I could have, you know, let's say I, I wanted to sell at 20 bucks. That would have been 32 minutes. So I could have made 20 bucks in 32 minutes, which that's better than, you know what, people making an hour for minimum wage over here. Five dollars, thirteen. Even still, right now, thirteen dollars for a half hour of me just sitting here watching this computer screen. And really, I don't even have to sit here. I'm only sitting here because I'm talking to y'all. Normally, sometimes if I'm doing a quick trade and I plan on selling it the same day, I will watch it. So you see, I'm up thirty-three dollars right here, just in thirty-three minutes. So that's one dollar a minute. Thirty, thirty, thirty-three dollars, a dollar a minute. 28 so I could have just cashed out right there 33 if I had day trades left so it's wherever you comfortable once it hits a number where you're comfortable taking profit you take profit look $35 it's going up so that's over $1 per minute if you you know if it's going in a direction that you assume it will so $38 we're almost about to hit that 40 40 dollar mark so you seen it was it was it was flirting going losing money and now it's it's going the other way flirting with me making more money. See now I'm up forty three dollars. So if I want to cash out right here, that's forty three dollars and thirty three minutes. Forty five dollars, forty, thirty eight. I'm just showing y'all live how it can fluctuate. Now normally I'll buy a bigger contract, so this price would be two hundred, three hundred, you know something like that, or buy multiple contracts. So whatever, so if I bought two contracts instead of me being up $33 right here, it would be 66. Or if I bought 10 contracts, it would be, instead of me being up 53, it would be 500. Or instead of 45, it would be 40, 450. It would be times 10, whatever you buy. So however many contracts you buy, that's how much you multiply the number by here. So 48, I could have made 40, I, right now if I cash out, that would be $43.34 minutes. $45.34 minutes. $48.34 minutes. I think it could touch 50 real quick. 48, 48. Let's see if it let's see if it'll hit 50 bucks. If we can hit 50 bucks in 35 minutes. We have 40. Thirty-eight. Okay, the price wants to go up a little bit right now. Hopefully it starts going back down though which will increase my profit. This number, as the share price goes down, this number here for me will go up. See, 45, 38, it's just fluctuating. 40 bucks in 35 minutes. Let's see if it can hit 50. Oh yeah, it's gonna hit 50. 48, 50 bucks, let's go. 50 bucks in, $53 in 35 minutes. Reverse that, $58 in 35 minutes, let's go. So right there, that's 50, I could have just cashed out 58 bucks, you know, for a half hour worth of work. 48, 58, 35 minutes, 55 and 35 minutes. It's all about where you jump in at and jump out at. If you got any questions, drop them in the comment section. If you're curious on how to do this and, you know, y'all feeling this type of content, let me know. We'll definitely get some more up for y'all. 
I'm just showing y'all this is what I do, you know, regularly. So I decided since I ain't been putting up no content, I've been looking for new content. Why not put some educational content out there to help everybody get some money? So here we are, $45 again. Had it 36 minutes. Oh, it's at $38 for 36 minutes. Still a dollar a minute. 40 bucks for 36 minutes. Over a dollar a minute. 38. 36 minutes. Still a dollar a minute. A little more than a dollar a minute. A little less right now. But, you know, we hold it. Y'all seen this number. I was down all the way $155 or $150 to go to, to being up $58. So that's just how we can, you know, it can fluctuate. Right now, it looks like the price is rising. But after it has its high right here and it drops again, it'll create a new low. Once it creates that new low, this number here will be even higher. So I should be, I should see this at maybe 80 today. Depending on this though, depending on my, my, my theta, the time. Thirty-eight dollars for thirty-seven minutes. Thirty, thirty, thirty-three, thirty, twenty-eight. So right now, this means the share price is climbing back up as my profit dwindles. But after it has its little high peak, it's going back down. So here is where you would not want to panic and sell. You see, it's losing. Wait until it's at its high. Wait until this number is back up to fifty or something high, and then you sell it. Don't get scared here because you see it's going down three zero. I just was up fifty bucks. Now it's all the way back down to three dollars. Don't be scared and sell here because then if I'd have just sold there, I'd have sold at three dollars. Now look at it. It's back up to thirteen. Back up to fifteen. You wait for it's like a rubber band. It's going up and bouncing back, bouncing up, snapping back, bouncing up, snapping back. You want to catch it when it's in a up. Buy low, sell high. Again, buy it when it's low, sell it when the price is high. Especially when it's higher than what you paid for. See, now I'm back down to negative $2 all the way from up $55. From, from being down $155 to being up $50, $58, then going all the way back down $5. So that's kind of showing you the volatility of how this, you know, the stock price is swinging back and forth. So right now the price is swinging back up 423 423.55, 423.44, 423.57, 423.60, 423.670. So that's why I'm down right here right now because the share price is going back up. But once it collapses and it drops down, I'll be back in the profit. So you see it just went from 12 to 7 to 5 to 2. It should be back profit set pretty soon. Negative two. So y'all just seen me go from negative 150 to plus 58 back down to negative two. Now we at plus three, plus 13. It should keep rolling right here as the price goes down. It should be plus 20 next. See, plus 20. And then plus 15, plus 13. Plus eight. So right now, I'm gonna just let it do its thing, kind of probably check on it in about 15, 20 minutes and let y'all see where it's at then. Uh, remember, we at the 40 minute mark, $2, negative $2. Okay, we are back about, I think we left off at 40 or 42, so either eight or six minutes later, and you see we are down $7, $10. In that time frame, y'all missed me being down all the way up to $55. That's how volatile this stock is right now. So I just decided to cut it back on, even though not much progress has been made, but just to show y'all how volatile it can be. So once you find yourself in this position, you're not worried about it. You see, I bought it 49 minutes ago. Today's return, total return, $0 right now. So now up $3.
Now remember, I could have cashed out at any of those numbers if you know I wanted to and had day trades available to do that. So just watch the number here. Plus 10, plus 15, plus 20. Plus 23, plus 28. So I'm checking the charts on my phone. I actually could just pull it up here also. You see, we had 2320. Yesterday, I bought a, a stock. I made about 260 bucks off of it. Or I bought a contract. If I would have held it until today, I would have made $2,700 instead of 260. So that just kind of. Sucked a little bit, but you know, you rather make money than lose money. So you see, we almost an hour in and at 18 bucks, 51 minutes at 18 bucks, 15 bucks. Here in the U.S., that's what a lot of people make per hour, $15 an hour. Well, actually, a lot of people don't even make $15 an hour. So if you looked at this as something like you wanted to trade for, you know, an hour or, you know, two hours a week, three hours a week, you know, or two hours a day for two, three days a week, you know, you can generate an extra, you know, a few extra hundred per month easily. You could also lose a few hundred per month easily. Never risk more than you're willing to lose. Back at the 23, Jordan, or Brian. Okay, 35, we getting some progress. 38, okay, 48, okay, let's go. Forty-three. Forty. Less than an hour. Fifty-two minutes, thirty-eight bucks. 40 bucks. 43. Let's go. Remember, this is the number right here. 40. Let's see what my portfolio looking like. So, 10,622. Remember, this number keeps going up. Yeah. $578 for the day. Tesla back we back up 45 we drop down to 38 dollars so I'm stuck with this till tomorrow so I'll be holding this all day and uh, tomorrow I believe after I'm not sure if I'm gonna hold it until market open, depending on what it said at market open. If market opens high, I'll hold it until it goes low. But if the market opens low, then I'll sell it right at market open. So let's see where we at time wise. So we still 54 minutes in with $43. Now, let's say if I'd have bought 10 contracts, I'd be up $430 right now. So, $53 for 54 minutes. That's almost a dollar a minute.
thinking I should hit that 100 mark pretty soon. So 55, so that's 58, 63, that's over a dollar a minute, 65, let's go, we going up, 68, we gonna hit 70, 65. Let's go, 70. We hit 70 bucks in 55 minutes. We hit 68 right now, that's still over a dollar a minute. Sixty-eight. Seventy, sixty-eight, seventy-three, let's go. Seventy-eight, let's go. Seventy-eight, let's go. Seventy. 55 minutes. Remember, you can cash out wherever you're comfortable at. You never want to get too greedy. Once you start hitting about 5 to 10% profit, in this type of market right here, you want to start taking profits. Normally, with a, with a uh, option contract, you could take 100, 200, 300%. But the market ain't giving those types of returns right now. So you got to stick and move, you know, take those, throw those jabs and, and take those small, uh, you know, those small punches. Back down to 58, 56 minutes, still over a dollar a minute. Let's go, 63, let's go. Six minutes, still over a dollar a minute. Sixty bucks, fifty-six minutes. Let's go. Like a 63, 57 minutes. I was really hoping by now it would be at least in like the 150 range. Y'all see me being down 150. I wanted y'all to see how it could be, you know, going up 150 also. 73, 75, okay. 78, let's go. 80, 80, 80, let's go. 85, let's go. 88, let's go. Oh, yeah, it's on the move. 88 so we we at 88 right now in 57 minutes so if you want to cash out right now that could be what some people make in a day you know at work so in 58 minutes you know that's it's a little a little ten dollar an hour about eleven dollars an hour just made that in 58 minutes Now, this could also be a loss. I could wake up tomorrow and it'd be down 83, you know, just because I'm swinging it, which is basically holding it instead of day trading it and buying it and selling it in the same day. I'm swing trading, I'm buying it, and I'm selling it the next day, swinging it over to the next day. So back down to 73. In 58 minutes, we got two minutes until an hour, $75. $78. We got one minute left. Let's see if we can hit that $80 an hour. Even if it, you know, right here at 70, 68, that's still, you know, real nice money. 68 bucks an hour. Let's see where we land on that one hour mark. So let me check the price and see what it's doing.
Okay, so right now the price is creeping back up. It's trying to go up. It's at 423.05, 423.98, 422.89. Okay, so it's going back down. So we had 60 bucks. 59 minutes 63 65 68 we hit that one hour mark 68 dollars in one hour over a dollar a minute we still within that one hour though price is at 40 422.80 And we over 60 bucks an hour. It's over a dollar a minute. Just sitting here and some of that time was with the, you know, with this pause, this video pause and me making coffee, fucking doing whatever I'm doing. But it's pretty sweet once you get the hang of it. So we had $60, $70 at the one hour, $73, $75, $78 at the one hour mark. $88 at the one hour mark. It just jumped up $10. $88 one hour. $90 in one hour. About one hour, one minute maybe. bucks let's see what the portfolio at so up six hundred dollars you see this number keeps increasing up six hundred dollars today so we still at 85 over here 88 we were just at 90 back at 90 at the one hour and couple minute mark 93 oh 100 108 let's go over a hundred and five dollars let's go at one hour hundred and eight dollars let's go let's roll it now now this is somewhere you being a beginner where you would want to take profit because that's a hundred you know over a hundred dollars right there that you could have just made 113 dollars in one hour so you want to take that profit because you know you want to just get you want to start getting up on them versus having them up on you. So we hit 113 at that hour and a couple minute mark, less than an hour and like three minutes. One ten, one fifteen, one eighteen. 115, <coughs> 123. So remember, y'all just seen when I was down 150. Now y'all see what it looked like when it goes the other way. 110. So I was right. I was. I knew the price would drop. It just. I was a. I was a little early. So this would be higher, but right now, since we hit an hour, that time decay is starting to kick in, that theta. So the theta is eating away at this. This would be a little bit higher than it is right now. It would probably be at like 118 right now. So when you send it at 118, it would have technically probably been around 125. Or something like that. So you see the price, it's at 93, still not bad. Well, we hit like 118, I think was the highest, or 100, no, 123. So you see it fluctuates. You just gotta, now you could have jumped out at 123. That's somewhere I would have recommended getting out because that was a nice profit at like four point, I think it was like four, 4.6%. Actually, that could have been a little bit higher.
So we had 95, 90. Ninety five again, ninety eight. About to go back over that hundred mark, I think. Let's see, let's see. Let me check the charts real quick. Okay, so the volume is picking up, the RSI is going up, so the price will be going up short term. On a one minute chart, it is going up. <laughs> I'm switching over to the five minute chart. So it's going down on the five. It's still on the uptrend, but it's going down on the five-minute chart. The five-day has is underneath both the ten-day and the twenty-day moving average. So yeah, the price should be going down. I'm really hoping it, it drops a lot today. Normally, I'm betting with Tesla. I'm a, I'm one that usually goes in the direction that Tesla's going, but I was just down about $20,000 over the last month betting that Tesla would go up. So now I'm just becoming more flexible in my willingness to bet in either direction because that's important to be able to make money whether the market is doing good or whether the market is doing bad. Ninety-five. Let's go. I really like when I see it over like the hundred mark or hundred and twenty, because then I know even with time decay that I'm still kind of in the clear. See, like right here where it's getting down to fifty-eight. This contract here will lose. So these are the Greeks. Delta is the. I'm still, now y'all gotta remember, I'm still learning all this, but from what I've learned so far, the delta is the dollar amount that it in, the, the option or the contract increases per dollar amount that the share price increases. So every one dollar that Tesla goes up, or right now since I'm betting down, <clears throat> every dollar that Tesla goes down, I get $45. So if Tesla drops $2, I'll make $90. Now this is the theta. Theta is the time decay. So time decay is the amount of value your option or your contract loses in one day. So this number here means $57. So in one day, I'll lose $57 holding on to this contract. So I felt like that was kind of, you know, worth it. I didn't double look at it when I seen it. I'm kind of familiar with it already. So I just kind of knew where it would be at because I looked at it yesterday. And then like, I think like earlier this morning, I, 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 skim, I skimmed through them. Now you see, I was just all the way up to $123. Now I'm all the way back down to 35. So this is why you take profit when it's high. Remember I said, sell it when it's high. Don't wait. See right now, some people would get scared that it's going back low and we like, you know, like, dang, let me, let me sell it now before I don't have anything. But what you should have done was sold it when it was all the way high. Somewhere I think back here or something. Or here you should have sold it back here <clears throat> but like I said it's like a rubber band you know it's going it's snapping back down and then it'll bounce back up Checking on the chart, we had well Tesla is at $422.72. Some of the news on Tesla, some of the headlines are saying auto stocks hit higher gear into the US election. Dow Jones jumps 500 points on US election day. Apple Tesla rally. Tesla is getting new battery sales from Panasonic with faster charging capacity. Just a couple headlines I'm looking at. I'm, sk I'm skimming through them right now through my phone. 
Okay, we back up to 60. 58. So pretty much this will say one hour, I think, until it hits two hours. It does an update about a minute after it reaches an hour. So I guess we're just gonna let it roll for a minute. Let y'all just track the uh, stock price and we'll go make another cup of coffee. Okay, y'all, we back over here. Y'all see the price going crazy. We up 150. I was over there making my cup of coffee, missing out. So y'all see we up 150 bucks in a little over an hour. 153, 170, 168. I don't even know how high it went. Y'all got to drop in the comments. Let me know if y'all been watching all the way through. Let me know how high this went. So far, all I seen was 168. But obviously I'll see it as I run this video back in the editing process. But ain't no edits. We running it straight through. So I'll see it when I watch it. 143, 140. So I think when we just left off, I was all the way down to like 38. And it just shot up $100 in that little time. Oh, now when I come over, I want to go back down. That's crazy. So four twenty ninety seven. Let's go. That's the share price, four hundred twenty dollars and ninety seven cents. So 
as the price decreases because I bet that this stock would go down, I will make more money. So you can bet that a stock will go up or you can bet that it'll go down. Remember, I started this off going all the way down into a negative 150. And the highest I've seen this go so far is 168. So, you know, that's a, uh, that's pretty volatile. For it to be able to swing 150 negative all the way back, 150 positive, that's crazy. It's really like you're just playing a timing game. You see, I have several options. As long as you buy in at a good point, you'll have several options when it's swinging back and forth to, you know, to get out with a profit. See, right now, this 5% profit, 140 bucks, I would recommend you take it. This is when you want to take it, when it's high. See how it's going high right here, right now? It's up. You don't want to wait till it's down. Down here and down here, you want to sell at the highs. Sell here. Sell here, 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 and here. Just, you know, just the high point. That's it. Just work at the peaks. See the share price here for 2069. Back to 123. So right now what it's doing is it's contracting. It's pulling back. It's in one of this the prices. Uh, let me let me pull up the chart. Hold on, let me pull up the chart for y'all, man. They ain't letting me pull up my good chart. I don't want to pull up my good chart right now because I don't know what it's going to reveal when I click that login button. I don't want to show my information. So I'm going to get it better and better each time we, uh, each time I come with a new video for y'all. So you see we up to $135, $138. This is a full $140 right here. You know, I could just cash out. It said uh, the highest I seen, I think it was 168 I could have just cashed out right there. That's about 20, you know, that's that's a full day's work at a regular job. You know, you just do this a couple times a week. You can replace your income. So let's see where I'm at now. Okay, only only up 572. So it was just here, 604, the highest for the day. <clears throat> so let me check the charts on my phone, I'll see what it's doing. Five minute chart price still is going down. Man, I'm hoping it just man, I'm hoping it drop. <laughs> Y'all gonna see this go crazy if this if it really drop. If you go back down to like 400 today, that's gonna be crazy. So you see, I'm back at 145. 138, 130. So it is currently losing value. It's still on an overall upward 
trend, but for the moment, the five days underneath the 20 and the 10, the RSI is decreasing. Huge sell wall at 421. 1556 1556,000 share sale order at 2073. So technically, I should be. I, I got in at. I bet that it was going to go down around $424. So the price technically is down about $3 since then. Okay, no, it's about, it's about right. So I'm missing out on probably about like 15 to 20 bucks from Theta. No, nah, probably less than that. It's probably only like six, seven bucks, probably. So you can see here, <clears throat> I paid two thousand five hundred eighty-five dollars for this contract. Two thousand five hundred eighty-five. And right now it's worth 2728 That's why it says I'm up $143. So from this price with this price equals this price. Bought it for this. I can sell it right now for the market value price. So whatever the price is here is what I can sell it for currently. So $143. If I wanted to sell it right now, I would be making $140. I bought it for this price. So if I sold it for this price, that would equal $145 profit. $148. So now, yeah, I feel like it's going to start dropping. $150, let's go. $158, let's go. I told you it's going to start dropping, which means if the share price starts dropping, that means this price increases. It means I make more money because, again, I bet that it would go down. Yeah, and it looks like it's going down. One fifty eight, let's go. I like to make like a quick three, four thousand dollars off of this. If it could drop down to like four, if it could drop like four to four hundred even. That would be 20, um, So if it loses $20 for every $1, I'll be making $44. So that's about $880. So now you see it's all the way back to $68, $70, just down from $100 and what was that? $150? It almost just lost half, 50% of its value right there. Or of, not of its value, but of the profit I just had. That's because the share price is increasing. This price here, 421, this is going up. As this number gets higher, this number gets lower and this number gets lower. So as long as this number here is going down, you see it just jumped up to 422, that's not good for me. I want this number to go down, but Right now, it's just doing a little rubber band snapback. It's giving everybody a chance to 
get out in the other direction. So if you was in right now, if you bet that this would go up, now is the time. Let me see. I'm on a five-minute chart. Yeah, so now it will be a time you would probably want to be selling this. Yeah, you definitely want to sell this right now. If you were betting that it would go up because it's about to go back down. Remember how this would get. Remember I kept saying it would get as it gets higher, it'll keep getting lower and lower and lower. So at first I was going I was down like 150. Then it got all the way down to like it started going down to where I would only lose be negative 40. And then it turned around to where I was in a positive. And then I would lose my profit and then it would go up to you know, this number would keep going up higher and higher and higher. So now that's what that's going to do. This is going to keep going up higher. And this number is going to keep going lower throughout the day. Because generally as the market, as the day moves on, the market tapers off. So I'm not worried about losing that 150 on here because it definitely should be coming back. Now don't get me wrong, today is election day. So it's November 3rd, so I don't know. This is my first year of trading. I'm still within my first few months of trading, so I haven't seen what an election can do technically to uh, the day of trading. I did a little historical research and looked at what happened on prior election days and the days before. But, you know, this is a crazy time we living in with 2020, so anything can happen right now. The market is saying that Joe Biden will win. So, the stock market is reflecting that right now. Because normally Tesla would be down way more than this. And it's holding on pretty strong. But who knows? Trump could pull out a fucking, I mean, you know, excuse me, he could pull out a, uh, you know, some crazy out of his hat. And if he, I think, I, I think if they said if he get like Texas or, or uh, it was one important state if he get, you know, then he could win it. But who knows? That's why you got to learn how to make money regardless of who's in office, regardless of what uh, party's in office. Regardless of if your candidate wins or not. So you see it's down to 68. So let's see 70. So let's see what this price doing up here. 421.86. So it's not really moving too much. But what it is is. This starting to kick in. Theta. Okay, let's see where we at. 68. Check out the portfolio. So down to 553. See, it was up to. So it's up to $555 profit today. See, it was at one point up to 604. I think it was up 604. But we just playing this Tesla put right now. So the price going up. You see, as this price goes up here, the amount of profit I make here, it gets lower. So it's all the way down to $33 from 150. Now, is that a little surprising? Yeah, I wouldn't think it'd go all the way back that low, but I'm confident it'll go back the other direction. Right now, it's just doing that rubber band bounce. So up 18, back up to only $18 all the way from 168. So it lost $150 in value. That's why you got to get out when you're doing good. Get out when you got a good amount of profit. 5 to 10% right now, take it. 
But like I told y'all, I'm stuck in this trade because I don't have any more day trades left. In order to day trade, you have to have 25,000 or more in your account. Now, I did at one point before I lost the 20,000. Because of an error, I got locked into it. I thought automatically, if you had 25,000 in your account, you could start day trading. But I didn't know you had to wait for the money to clear. So when I bought two Tesla contracts, I was locked, I was locked into them. And I was expecting to be, and they went the opposite way. And I didn't have any day trades left. But I was expecting to be able to just sell them because I was over the 25,000 mark. But you had to wait for the money to clear in your account. So I got locked into them to the next day. And the next day, I was down about three, dollars $4,000. So I decided to hold it, assuming that it would go back up. It lost even more value. It lost about 6000 So then I was in a position where I had to hold it. And held it even longer, lost more money, lost more money, lost more money. So you got to know when to cut your losses. But that was a, a, a genuine mistake, though. Just from like a rookie mistake, not knowing you got to wait for the money to clear. And I'm pretty sure I'll get it back. So as long as this number doesn't go back into the negative, I'm, I'm alright. Even though it'll still go back up, but I just don't want it to go that low. So that way I still got enough, a lot of meat on the bone. So 422, 46. So I definitely want that price, the share price to decrease. And really, any profit is better than no profit. You know what I'm saying? So it don't really matter how much you make. You want to make, you know, as much as you can for your investment. But it really doesn't matter as long as you're not losing money. Warren Buffett's famous rule is don't lose money, number one. And don't forget rule number one is rule number two. So that's what you want to remember. Drop in the comment section. Let me know if y'all, you know, interested in these types of videos. Because we definitely got a lot more. I trade every day. So, I'm going to be bringing y'all some content like this. Because I feel it's important for people to learn how to make money. You know, outside of just working for somebody. Learn how to work for yourself. Learn how to invest and make money. So, we only had 43. All the way from... 48, 53, all the way from 168. But being from being down $150 in the red to going up to $168, back down to 55. And it did a lot more in between then. So, I think the highest I've seen it at was 168. Okay, 73. So, it's, it's going back in that direction. Like I said, it's a rubber band. So, right now, the share price should be a little lower than 422. Okay. So, remember, it was at like 422.70. So, now it's at 422.03. And then, now 422 even. 421.97. So, I should be higher than 70. This should be changing right here. In about three, two, one. There we go, right on cue, $73. So 68, 70. I remember this is all the way up to 168 so I could have cashed out there took that 168 
and bought back in. That's a that's something you want to learn to do too. Take your profits and learn to find re-entry points. So you would take your if you bought that, betting that the price will go down. Once the price is at a, a low, like a, a a new low, you would sell it, wait for it to go back up to a new high, and buy in there. And then you know if you want to bet that it'll go down, and then ride it on the way back down, sell it at the low, and repeat the process. So like I told you, I'm going to be holding on to this until tomorrow because I don't have any day trades left. So I could either, you know, end up making a few hundred or losing a few hundred. Well, really not a few hundred. Really about, well, no, no. Technically, I can lose a few hundred. If I woke up tomorrow and the price was, if the price gapped up, I could definitely be down a few hundred. But within 24 hours, one day, it will lose the theta, which is $56 automatically. $56.80, 95 cents. So this is, the, this is growing. So about $57, it'll lose in one day. Which that's already calculated. It's already priced into here. So I'm gonna pause it. It's back at 55. We at the two hour mark. Okay, so we done hit two hours in. So I'm gonna just pause it and come back. If something drastic happens, if the price increases a lot or if the price goes down a lot, which it said 35 already, so there ain't too much more that can go down. So I'll probably just update y'all in about a half hour. What's good everyone gang okay y'all we are back y'all see i think when we last left, left off we were at like that two hour mark i can't remember exactly but you see here we are at let me see negative twelve dollars five hours in so at one point we were all the way up to 168 dollars the market closes in nine minutes, so we're going to run this for nine minutes and see where it ends off at for the day. And I'm just hoping tomorrow it drops the share price. I was hoping by the end of the day I'll already be up at least around 100, 150. That way, once the theta kicks in for tomorrow... You know, I'd still be up over $100 this way. I wouldn't have to play it so close. But it's about to be a little close right now. I'm hoping that it's, uh, it's just doing this rubber band uh, effect right now. You know, just bouncing right now. Hoping it snaps back even lower than uh, the last low. But I don't know, it's looking pretty strong right here at the end. So you see I'm down $10. I'm, I'm looking at the chart on my phone still. Remember, I'm going to be updating this soon where y'all will be able to follow the charts with me. And like I said, if I would have got out earlier, I could have cashed out at $168. But I didn't have any day trades left. So I have to hold on to it until the next day. So tomorrow, if it goes up to $100, $160, $150, somewhere around that range, you'll definitely be seeing me sell it. So, uh, part two to this video will be uploaded tomorrow. Y'all will be getting this part today. So, yep, we down 15. We got seven minutes left. It's kind of still... Still going up on the one minute chart. Volume is not, it's still kind of going up. I think a lot of people getting up, uh, okay. 
that candle closed. I think a lot of people were trying to get in at the last minute. So down seven dollars. Let's go to the five minute chart and see what it's doing there. So on the five minute chart is still going up also. But the five day is underneath the 20 day. So I'm expecting, well, it's not really overbought or oversold right now. It's right in the middle. Looking like it, it, won't, it wants to close a little high today. I really expected it to be closer to the lower 400s by the end of market close. So you see, we down $22 now, $20. The share price is $423, $424. So that price should have been going down. I'm probably down here yeah, close to 40 bucks right here. So this ain't good. I got in this trade at around 40 bucks. So the fact that it's already down 27, 30 dollars. I mean, I got in. I got into the trade around 424 dollars. So it's already back at that price all the way at the end of the day. So there ain't. There ain't something too good but right now it look like it's going down on a five minute chart hopefully last five minutes before market close down 12 hopefully we end in the green let's see where we at for the day okay 488 for the day 490 for the day down 15 here I'm trying to show it slightly so y'all can see both the share price and today's total return so right here 423.93 is the share price down 15 so let me switch back to the one minute chart and see what it's looking like oh So it's looking like it won't it wants to close in the red today for me. Now any other time, you know it normally drops lower towards the end of the day. But I guess with elections, the market is predicting Joe Biden to win. So if Joe Biden wins, that'll be good for Tesla because he's pushing uh a lot of policies that Incentivize, incentivize the use of electric vehicles or programs to produce more or just to, basically to move away from using traditional uh, fossil fuels so we down 17 the share price is at 423.65 I know it's a little covered up right up here but you just gotta kind of glance at it or you know make out the rest of it so we down 17 we got three minutes until market close I'm hoping a real big sell-off happens right here at the end but I don't think it's gonna happen because we got a support right there at about 420 three and the eight. Oh, let me go back to the five minute chart.
Yeah, you got a support right there that it's sitting on. Volume still relatively high. My bad, y'all. I'm, I'm looking down at my phone I'm trying to uh, follow this chart and see how it's moving. Got to pay attention to it. So I'm back on the one minute chart. One minute until market closes. Down 30 bucks. Yeah, so it's looking like I'm going to close in the red. Share price 423.87. So I'm hoping it goes down as far as it can right now. And right now it looks like it's just going up. So look, down 40 bucks. So now this could be dangerous because tomorrow if it gaps up or if it opens even higher than where it's at right now, I got to sell it right away and take a loss. So I was hoping I was up at least 100 or, you know, at least, you know, somewhere near there. 30, I got about 30 seconds left. So hopefully it goes down as much as possible in this next 30 seconds. Negative 30. So it's looking like that's where we're going to end it off at right there. Negative $30 for the day on this Tesla put option. Now you see yes or earlier. Now right now the market has closed. It was after hours right now. So I wonder what this. Uh, so right now it's actually dropping. So right now the, the price is at four. 23 12 423 even so hopefully tomorrow it drops a lot through the night and I wake up with some profit once the market opens I'll update y'all there but that's the end of this video if y'all want to learn more about it make sure you jump in the comments let me know we up